What's up everybody? This is Luca. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you didn't already, please subscribe here and turn on the notification bell. Today we're gonna talk about Suffer Me, Ink by Malmsteen Guitar Solo. This solo has been recorded in 1983. Ingvai was, I think, like 20 years old, something like that. And he was playing like crazy. It's not a secret that album is one of my favorite ones, you know, because Ingvai was not that neoclassical. It was still like hard rock, you know, and that's the best Ingvai for me. I really wanted to learn this solo, so I did. I just wanted to talk about some of the guitar leaks of this solo. They, uh, they use, of course, the downward pick slanting. Ingvai, you know, it's just like a master of this technique. So the first leak I'm gonna talk about is this one. So here uh, you can see the picking technique. It's like a sweep picking here. Then, I don't know why, he didn't play the E minor scale here, but he's playing E Dorian, like uh, coming, uh, going back. So basically, here he's playing a C, and coming back he's playing a C sharp. Don't know really why is he doing that, but I don't really care. Sounds good to me. Okay, so as you can see here, there's like one legato here, one pull off. So I can start again for the sending note pattern. Okay. Of course, it's playing. It's played really. Uh, this lick is really fast, and it's not. You you can't really perceive the the, the pattern. You know, it's more just like woo, a wave. And then the second leak I want to talk about is this one. And I'm really fascinated about this kind of stuff because to me it reminds me, you know, some like drummer's leaks, you know. You can have like more freedom to improvise with this kind of stuff because it's more rhythmic, you know, so you can um, also translate this kind of concepts on your licks, you know, I think it's really important. So it goes like this. So that's, you know, the, the, the core. But then you can switch to another phrase, because this phrase is like... And then you have this one. So combining these two licks, you can improvise, you know. So you, you can mix them, you know, and you create, can create with the same mechanic your, your lick, you know. What you have to do is just like have a lick that incorporates three notes and then one note on lower string. So I don't know, I can do it here. This is just an example, you know, I can do it here. Uh, like wherever, you know, you can, you can try to... The, the, the important thing is to learn the mechanic. Uh, so you can, you know, use it in your own will. So, lick number three. Yeah, this lick is getting me crazy. It's, this lick is so, so fast. So actually, I didn't play it like really great. Also in the solo, I'm still practicing. This is uh, really crazy, crazy fast, and it goes like this. This is the mechanic I think it's really important to know. Okay, so it's kind of uh, singular. I didn't expect something like this. I thought it was like uh, easier, more linear, but it's not. So also here you have Sweep picking here, and then of course we have the legato in order to have the down uh, the down picking again on the B string here, and then 
This is the, the tricky part. It's like down, up, and then a legato, and then again up on the E string, and then finally going back. So this is the lick, slowly. The second part is slightly different, you can like uh, read that the, the tablature on the screen, but the mechanic is pretty much the same. Okay, another lick that is really nice, it's also this one. Okay, and slowly. So basically, the genius behind uh, the, this technique and behind Ingwe is just like, why should I pick all the notes? He is playing this way. Legato. And then up. And then down on the B string. So, as I explained already in other videos, the problem is always the string switching part, it's just a switch string. And this is really a clever way to play an ascending pattern without changing your peak slanting. Okay? So again... Okay, there's now a massive leak, it's really, really fast and goes like this even when i listened to to the original track you know i, I was i slowed it down and he wanted to to play three strings three notes per string all the time but at the end you know in order to to reach you know the downbeat he just playing two notes on, on this one and also here Instead of the F sharp, he's playing an F, even if we are in the G major, E minor scale. Um, just because I think like the finger shape is easier. Yeah, but who cares, you know, if you know uh, the Van Halen solo on jump, you know, this kind of stuff, I mean, it's just, you know, he didn't care much about that. It's just like, sometimes you, you don't really have to pay too much attention of the notes you're gonna play, uh, even and it sounds funny, but, but it's more like the shape of what, you, of what you're playing. So if you want to sacrifice a certain note instead of another one, but the sound is the sound will be smoother as long as it sounds good. Go for it. And then the last click I want to talk about it's is this one. Yeah, really hard. So basically here he is combining two licks. This one. Okay, and then. He's going back to the lick that we've seen before. So this is another stuff that I really enjoy, uh, that I really like, you know, this kind of playing, is that once you have little blocks that you already know, you can combine them to create a longer phrase, a longer solo. So yeah, these I think are the most interesting licks of this solo. Um, I know it's not really uh, one of the biggest famous Invi album, but for me it's one of the best one. I mean, I would, I really would like to learn all the guitar solos on that album. I think, I think Invi is there is just like amazing. I love that guitar. I love that, that sound, I love that guitar playing so much and it's still unbelievable that he was 20 years old. I mean, now guys with YouTube, with people, you know, explaining stuff, oh, you know, the peak slanting or, you know, the scale or whatever, it's way easier to, to play, you know, in a virtuosistic kind of fashion. But if you think about like in the early 80s, playing like that and for me, it's just like, Wow, it's crazy. He was—he is really a genius, and sometimes he is underestimated. 
Yes, I really, really appreciate his work, especially the early stuff, you know, it's just crazy. So guys, I hope you like this video. As I said before, please subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell and put a thumbs up, you know, it really helps me with the algorithm of YouTube, you know, this channel is kind of brand new. So I hope you guys enjoy my content and please support me. Thank you very much and see you next time.